everybody. Today we're here to talk about some options for blade storage. Um, so I've got a number of different options out here for us and we're going to kind of walk through some pros and cons of the options I have as well as talk about some other things you can do. Uh, so the first one we're going to show you here is actually going to be your Andis blade carrying case. Uh, this one in particular uh, opens up and has slots for 12 blades and in that you just take your blade and you put it in your slots and it has this foam piece when you close it holds everything into place. Um, a good option, uh, some of the downsides are it has a foam piece so if your blades are all oily and whatnot over time that gets kind of broke down dirty but we're all used to that at least a little bit. Um, another good option that we have is going to be from Double K. This is their blade caddy. Now this one doesn't latch closed, so that's kind of one of the downsides. Uh, it does slip on a little bit snug. Uh, you take your lid off. This one has some different slots you can put your blades in. Again, a good storage option. The downside to this one is due to the width of these slots, some of your larger blades, like your three and three quarter HT, even some of your five and ones like Arcos, aren't going to fit as well in this option just because they're too wide uh, for your slot here. Um, another option we have for you is the Lobby Round Blade Caddy. This one, the lid is on tight, it screw unlocks and comes off here. And we have a tray that we can put some blades in. Again, they just slide in here like so. And they're good for storage. One of the things I will note on this one in particular that I'll ask you not to do is do not fill this with oil. Um, diesel fuel, kerosene, none of those are good options. Um, we can oil the blade, that's always a good practice, uh, but there is no need to fill this with any liquid. Um, another couple of options that we're going to have for you today, um, this one is just a rectangular case, again, has slots in it, it's made by Lobby, it's very popular. Um, and then this is a blade bag. Um, it has nine slots for blades, again, made by Andis. Um, being cloth, it does get kind of nasty faster, uh, but it is a little bit less expensive. Um, so we have a number of options here. The goal behind all of these different uh, cases, caddies, bags, again, is to protect your blades and keep them um, safe when not in use. Um, a lot of our customers use a two-case system, so they'll keep one with all their sharp blades, they'll keep another one with their dull blades. So as they've used them and they know they need sharpen, they move them over to the one so that they know what they're doing. Um, when we're storing blades that have been used and are dull, um, it's always good to put another little bit of oil on them before putting them in the case to try and prevent rust. Um, that oil acts as a barrier uh, to keep moisture off the steel, uh, preventing the rust. Um, when they come new sharpened from us, uh, we have them in plastic bags with the oil on there, again, as a rust preventative. Um, so if you wanted to put them back in baggies, that would also be a good way uh, to keep them from rusting and safe in between sharpenings. I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want notified when uh, more videos are posted, make sure you hit the blue notification bell. Thank you.